Hey, what's up guys? In this project, we're building an orbital shaker. These lab instruments are typically used for mixing fluids and biochemicals. We made this project to help agitate 3D printed parts that use water-soluble filament. So you already know PVA filament is used for 3D printing support structures with complex geometry. This Hilbert cube is a great example that is dual extruded in PLA and uses PVA for the supports. The support material dissolves in water and can take many hours to fully dissolve. Typically it's left soaking overnight and requires hands-on post-processing. So we did an experiment to see if agitating PVA dissolves faster in water. To see if there's much of a difference, we left the parts in for about an hour. Once we took them out, we could clearly see a significant difference. The agitated part appeared fairly clean, while the stationary part had a lot of remaining PVA. PVA sticks pretty good to the surface of parts and normally needs to be scraped off. It also tends to settle at the bottom and forms a jelly-like residue that's a messy cleanup. So agitating PVA certainly produces cleaner parts and much faster. These parts came out really clean and demonstrates how well PVA can help produce these crazy shapes with lots of overhangs. We have a guide on 3D printing with PVA and also share our slice settings for dual extrusion setups. So check that out if you're interested in 3D printing with PVA. To build this project, you can get the parts from the guide linked in the description. The 3D files for the enclosure are also available to download. Our learn guide covers the assembly, the wiring, and the programming. It's a pretty thorough tutorial, so check it out. Commercial equipment can be expensive, so we think a DIY build makes for a nice weekend project. We used Microsoft MakeCode to program the Adafruit Cricut and Circuit Playground Express. Here we map the potentiometer to the motor so that we can control and adjust the speed. The enclosure was designed around the components and we published them on our GitHub repo. The assembly is comprised of snap fit parts and hardware to secure everything together. The CAD source is also available to download so you can make tweaks and modifications. Everything fits inside the 3D printed enclosure with the platform secured on top. A single DC geared motor drives a 3D printed motion link. We used ball bearings to create smooth rotational movement and they're just press fitted into place. So with these three motion links, together they create the mechanism for rotating the platform. For more information on this project, be sure to check out the learning guide. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.